update where we let you know what's going on in the Duke City. And today we're talking about the New Mexico Rail Runners 10th anniversary. New Mexicans have greatly benefited over the last decade. Whether it's commuting to work, school, or leisure, the Rail Runner has offered a convenient and affordable alternative mode of transportation. And joining us now is Augusta Myers, the communications ma manager, right? Yes. Uh, the New Mexico Rail Runner. Thank you for joining us. You bet. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, so 10 years. What are you guys doing to celebrate? It's like we blinked our eyes. Yes. Well, <laughs> all this week we have uh, celebrations at various stations along the corridor. Mm -hmm. um, giving away Rail Runner goodies and all kinds of things to sell. Just thanking our passengers for riding, basically. Yeah. And then all this month, people can win free train tickets by listening to their favorite radio stations. And if they want to find out more about these things, they can go to nmrailrunner.com cool. and figure it out. It's really cool. So speaking of your passengers, mm -hmm. um, you recently reached out to them to get their stories um, that have to do with the Rail Runners. So tell us about that. Yeah, we asked our regular passengers to submit some stories and then a panel of judges picked the top 10 mm -hmm. for 10 years and um, they basically told stories about how it enhanced their lives riding the train the last 10 years so it's been really neat the stories are cute and they're on the website as well yeah so we were talking during the break um, you and I have spent some time in New York and my one qualm here with New Mexico is the lack of public transportation until I discovered the Rail Runner, <laughs> which is really cool. Right. So what have been some of your highlights over the years? Well, we now are we now have 14 stations in the corridor. Mm -hmm. It's a 100 mile corridor from Belen all the way up to Santa Fe and three of those stations are at Pueblos so people can use the train obviously to commute to work but also for leisure and you can there are 70 connections either through bus or shuttle that can take you as far south as Socorro from the train yeah. and as far north as Taos. So you can get on at any point and go to almost any place you can imagine along the in central New Mexico and use your rail runner ticket to get on those shuttles for free oftentimes. So it's been it's been really great. We've probably the last the fourteenth station we added a couple of years ago the Montano uh, Multimodal Transit Center that the city put in. Mm -hmm. So pretty much um, have been adding stations and doing cool things and people have really enjoyed riding the Rail Runner. Augusta, I must say I feel really silly right now because I thought the Rail Runner was just from Albuquerque to Santa Fe. Nope, it goes so, all the way to Belen. Too. Wow, yeah. that is very cool. Yeah. So in your time speaking with your customers, what do you see most people doing? You know. This isn't a state where we have such congestion problems right now right. that people opt for transport, public transportation. Exactly. They have choices. But we see that a lot of people who take the rail runner um, take it to work, obviously, for commuting, especially those who work in Santa Fe. Mm -hmm. But our leisure travel has increased as well. Yeah. And one of the cool things that we find out about um, people riding the train is that rather than just to get somewhere, it's about the experience. Right. They love leaving the driving to somewhere else. We've had a couple of weddings on the train. Really? People get to know the conductors. They celebrate birthdays. They have the regular areas they sit in. Um, they have a quiet car for people who don't want all the sounds of electronics or, or noise. So it's, it's really quite about the experience yeah. of riding the Rail Runner yeah. as much as it is using it to get somewhere. And I'm sure it's a beautiful view, too, right? Beautiful view. You see parts of New Mexico. And we're not just talking about stuff you see on train tracks, mm -hmm. you know, people's old refrigerators or <laughs> washing machines. <laughs> you see beautiful scenery as you get on the, tr on the Rail Runner. It's really Very nice. Very cool, Augusta. Okay, so we all know public transportation is something that is evolving here in Albuquerque. So what do you see for the future of the Rail Runner? Well, Mexico? next week we're going to roll out something really cool, a mobile ticketing app, so people can actually go on their phones and, mm -hmm. and get their tickets mobily. And also, um, I don't know, I think we'll probably, it's a supply and demand thing. We'll see more um, things done as we go forward, probably improvements to the track to make the, the journey quicker to get places um, and also just more transit oriented, oriented development around the stations. We'll see more businesses locating around stations so people can, you know, get on the train, get off, get their dry cleaning, pick up something to eat and have more accessibility for things yeah, like that. Yeah, it's a convenient way to get around for it sure. Really so Augusta, if people want to get in touch with you, learn more about the Rail Runner, how do they do that? the best way to do it is visit nmrailrunner.com. Very cool. Thank you so much for coming in. And for all the info about today's interview, you can head over to kasa.com.